Um, yeah, there is a lot of talk, of course, right now about AI bubbles. Um, in my view, uh, I, I think it, there isn't. Th there, it's not one thing, binary thing. Are we or aren't we? Mm -hmm. I think there are parts of the AI ecosystem that are probably in bubbles. What one example would be, you know, just seed rounds for startups uh, that basically haven't even got going yet, and they're raising at tens of billions of dollars mm -hmm. uh, valuations just out of the gate. It's sort of interesting to see how how can that be sustainable. Um, you know, my guess is probably not. Uh, at least not in general. Um, so there's that area. Then the people are worrying about, obviously, there's there's the big tech valuations and other things. I think there's a lot of real business underlying that. Mm -hmm. So, um, but it remains to be seen. I mean, I think maybe for any, any uh, new, tr unbelievably transformative and profound technology, of which, of course, AI is probably the most profound, uh, you're going to get this uh, overcorrection in a way. Mm -hmm. So when we started DeepMind, no one believed in it. No one thought it was possible. People were wondering, what's AI for anyway? And then now, fast forward 10, 15 years, and now, obviously, it's, it seems to be the only thing people talk about in business. And um, so it's, a, you, you, but you're sort of going to get, it's almost an overreaction mm. to the underreaction. Um, so I think that's natural. I think we saw that with the internet. I think we saw it with mobile. And I think we're, we're seeing it or going to see it again with AI. Um, I don't worry too much about are we in a bubble or not, because from my perspective, as you know, leading Google DeepMind and also obviously with Google as, as an alphabet as a whole, our job and my job is to make sure we, either way we uh, are come out of it very strong. And I think and we're very well positioned and I think we are tremendously well positioned either way. So if it continues going like it is now, fantastic. We'll carry on, you know, all of these great things that we're doing and experiments and progress towards AGI. If there's a retrenchment, fine. Then also I think we're in a great position because uh, we have our own stack with TPUs. We also have um, all these incredible Google products and, you know, the profits that all makes to plug in our AI into. And we're doing that with search is totally revolutionized by AI overviews, AI mode with Gemini under the hood. We're looking at workspace, at email, at, you know, at YouTube. So there's all these amazing things in Chrome. There's a lot of these amazing things that um, AI we can see already are low hanging fruit to apply uh, Gemini to, as well of course as Gemini mm. app, which is doing really well as well now, and 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 the idea of a universal assistant. So there's new products, and I think they will, in the fullness of time, be super valuable. But we don't have to rely on that. We can just power up our existing uh, ecosystem, uh, which is all sort of. I think that's what's happened over the last year. We've got that really efficient now.